Hi Cancer, welcome to your November 2017 general tarot forecast. It's Rena here, shuffling the cards. So this is a general focus, so it could be anything. If you're looking for love specifically, I've already put out that reading. So check my channel and I've already, well, I don't know about your sign, but I'm also putting out astrology readings. For, for November for each sign. So check that out. If it's not up now, it will be within the week. Definitely before November. And uh, what else do I have to say? And if you'd like a private reading, please visit me at rainamoonastrology.com. The link is below for that. <laughs> it's like I always get situations that seem more like love readings. I don't know, I guess I specialize in love. Okay. The The overall theme is what the, was represented by the Hierophant. And the Hierophant represents tradition, and marriage is a big part of this card. It's, this card is connected to Taurus, so if that is somebody that is in your life, then it could be that person, but it disconnects to tradition, conforming, marriage, and that might be on your mind. This idea of should I <clears throat> follow tradition? Also, the other thing, too, is that if you're working, this can be like a corporate environment where you have to fit into a certain culture. And it's like you become all members of that. It's like a big family. In the past position, in the past, you've been feeling kind of um, oppressed by a situation. And I'm thinking that it is with a marriage or a, a job that is in a corporate environment. I keep hearing people that work in corporate environments who say, oh, yeah, I had to leave. And I was thinking, wow, I wonder what's so horrific that they, that they don't want to stay. Um, I think some people do better with it than others for whatever reason, but... That idea of conforming to something isn't necessarily something that you would not go along with. You tend to be rather conservative. You tend to like that whole family atmosphere because you have um, you rule the fourth house of home and family. So you like that kind of group mentality, but maybe you don't like groupthink. If this is a marriage situation that you feel guilty because you want to get divorced, remember that the Eight of Swords, Swords represent thoughts. So it's your thoughts that are oppressing you. It's not the actual thing itself, uh, which is how life works, doesn't it? The, our thoughts direct us. And if we hold certain beliefs, then yes, they can definitely make us feel like we are trapped. But really, when we change our thoughts, we change our life. What is here now for you, and now meaning sometime in November, if you're watching in October, this could be the future, is represented by the Ace of Cups. So there's a new offer of love or a new offer of maybe a, a job position that's more in alignment with your soul's um, desires. And um, this can be tempting to you, but you may still feel this sense of obligation. Maybe with the, the Hierophant card, it's conditioning, family conditioning, societal conditioning. Uh, like, for instance, I can't accept a job that pays less than my last job or something like that. 
and yet it's something that you really want. And of course, if this is a person, it may be your marriage that is standing in the way of that. The higher message in all of this is represented by the Six of Cups, and this is the card of the soulmate. I think you actually are this, I think this connects with Cancer, because this is childhood, this can be children, and it, it can speak to, like, if you have children that are still at home, and maybe asking you at, on a spiritual level, is it better to get divorced or to, to stay and have your children be a part of an environment that's very toxic? It also can mean that this is a soulmate situation, that you are with somebody, that you are in love with somebody who maybe it's from your past, your first love, or just someone that you have connected with on a very deep level, and that person, and you are kept apart, maybe you're both married, but you know, who knows what the situation involves, but the, as a spiritual message, I think what this is saying is that love never dies, like true love never dies. So even if you're separated from someone, and this is sometimes twin flames uh, seem to have to go through these challenges, that it doesn't matter if, if, the, if uh, the world keeps you apart, you're still together all these years. You know, you may be thinking about somebody for a long time, and it never, that love never died. Um, and so you may meet again, or maybe you have met again. And as a spiritual card, it's saying because this is a spiritual union. This is not just um, a marriage of convenience or a job that you took because you had to pay some bills. Um, because I could see this card also connecting with people's heart desire, heart's desire when it comes to their profession of choice. And they may have kind of been discouraged um, by, uh, empl uh, what do you call them, uh, those counselors at school, the uh, job counselors or something, oh, no, 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 you don't want to go into that, that doesn't pay anything, or, and you never let go of that dream. What crosses you is the magician card. So the, the, the challenge position of the magician is feeling disempowered. And one of the biggest causes of disempowerment that I can think of is fear. With cancer, you tend to gravitate towards safe bets, safe situations because of that need for financial security. But if you turn on the radio, and yes, there are a few of us out here who still listen to the radio, uh, listen to talk shows or what have you, if you listen to the commercials that come on the radio, and I'm sure television too, it tends to be fear-based. And they try to get you, motivate you through some imagined calamity. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there that fall for it, and they, they like, uh, will make their choices purely based on the thing that is the most guaranteed to them. So the Magician card is understanding that you hold the key to your destiny. I'm trying to show you this card so you can look at them. No, no, I don't want to. But anyway, the Magician, I mean, they always show that, that he's got all these things on his... Um, at his disposal as his tools for manifestation. And take what you have. <laughs> Every time I try to say this on one of these readings, I mangle it. Start with you are, with what you have. No, start where, you know what I mean. You're starting where you are and you're taking what you have and you're making something out of it. And so if you, for instance, want to start a business, you don't say, oh, well, I don't have all this money to invest in something, and you talk yourself out of it. You'd start where you are, even if it's a very modest thing. And if you are in love with somebody, 
or, or if you want to separate from your spouse and you say, well, I don't have the money for a lawyer, or I don't have this, I don't have that, but you're taking the steps. There may be alternative routes to take in order to achieve the same result. So that is something that you take the initiative to manifest what you want. Cancer is a, a cardinal sign, so you're perfectly capable of taking the initiative, but sometimes it's motivated by this need for security. It's not really motivated by the sense of like, what would be my dream life? What would I do? What would I, you know, every, where would I live? What would I do? It's always like, okay, I think that this is the best place. Uh, rental values are very high or, or uh, real estate values. It's just like on that pragmatic level, but not a dynamic level. Okay. The advice is the Four Swords, which rep represents um, retreat and rest. And if you have, for instance, quit a job, you may have to have some downtime. And this may be very important. And maybe you've been maybe one of the reasons why you wanted to quit is because the hours were so long and you didn't have a life. So you may need to kind of regroup. Your adrenal glands uh, may be. Um, totally shot. Maybe you have burned the candle at both ends. You don't know. I mean, whatever has happened, you may need to really pamper yourself, nourish yourself. Um, it's funny that cancer is a sign of the nurturer, but do you, have you been nurturing yourself? And it's all about getting back into the groove of things or the swing of things and you need that time to replenish yourself the outcome is the seven of wands so this may be a time when you have to really stand your ground if for instance you are thinking of getting a divorce or leaving a primary relationship you may have to defend yourself um, from the other person. The other person may try to manipulate you, guilt you, and you have to be strong enough to fend off those kinds of attacks. You are having a full moon in your sign on the first of the year. So that's a great way to kick off 2018 of the sense of uh, a new beginning. And in the meantime, uh, the Seven of Wands may be you lawyering up, or if you, even in the workplace, you may have to negotiate if you're trying to leave a, a job and saying, you know something, I deserve a golden parachute or whatever you call it. I need, I need something that's not fair, what you're doing to me, and I'm, I need to be compensated for something. But there's a sense of empowerment is my point. Okay, so Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this, and I wish you all the best in November. Take care. Bye.